So we are talking about Schwartz reflection principle, or, uh, principle theorem, Schwartz reflection theorem. So, so it was uh, stated as suppose that a function uh, f, function f is analytic in some domain d, and which contains a line segment of the x-axis and whose lower half is the reflection of the upper half with respect to that axis. Okay, so then the, your conjugate of f of z is equal to f of conjugate of z for each point z in the domain, if and only if fx is real for each point x on the line segment. So this is our, this type d. So which is, uh, which is the reflection, this one is the reflection of this, okay, and uh, this is the line segment containing the x-axis okay so we already proved one part that means if fx is real for these points fx is real for these points then your conjugate of fz is equal to f of conjugate of z this part we have proved. now we are going to prove that uh, so so now we assume that your fz conjugate is equal to f of z so f of z uh, we can write u of x y plus i of v x y so suppose this so so then uh, we have and then we have from this relation so the conjugate of this so that means u of x y minus i times of v x y and that is equal to f of z conjugate and that will be nothing but u of x minus y and plus i times b of x minus y okay so uh, so therefore for the line segment we have that y equal to 0 so therefore for oh, y equal to 0 Mm, you, your equation becomes x0 minus i v of x0 is equal to u of x0 and plus i v of x0 and that implies that uh, if I shift this to this side so I will get twice i v x0 that is equal to 0 and this implies that v of x0 equal to 0 so we get that v of x0 is 0 so that is that is your f of x equal to u of x0 plus i of v of x0 and that is nothing but what u of x0 okay which is real which is which is real okay so this proves that uh, the value of fx is real for each point x on that line segment. So this proves the theorem, the other part of the theorem. So thus we have the reflection principle. Now for example, uh, you see that if I take fz equal to z plus 1, okay. So this is analytic throughout the complex plane C. So and you see that what is fx? fx equal to x plus 1, which is real and this is real this is real okay so therefore for this function we will have what f of z conjugate conjugate of f of z equal to f of this one okay and this you can easily verify because uh, from here you will see that this side is what mm, uh, z plus one conjugate and which is equal to plus one okay and this side is this okay so both are equal so so that is an example and on the other hand suppose fz equal to z plus i so you see that your fx fx equal to what x plus i which is not real which is not not real not real for all x in that in the line real line because in this case your domain is whole c so what is your line segment your line segment is the whole real line okay so it is not real so you cannot say that and uh, because it is if and only if condition so we have that 
this condition is not satisfied. Okay. Another example, uh, you can consider f of z equal to exponential z. Okay. So, this is also analytic throughout the complex plane C and uh, here also you see that what is f of x on the real axis, what is this? This is nothing but e to the power x, real. This is a real number. Okay. So, therefore, for e to the power this, I have what? The conjugate of f of z equal to f of z conjugate. Okay. Now, you can work out uh, if, if instead of fx is real, if fx is say purely imaginary, purely imaginary, purely imaginary, then uh, what would be the condition of f of z uh, is f of this one. Uh, so, what is the equality? Okay. Or uh, what is this? Uh, what are the relation between? Uh, wh what is the relation between f of z conjugate and f of conjugate of z? Okay. So, you try to find this. Remember that uh, in the Schwarz reflection theorem, uh, we assume that if fx is purely imaginary instead of fx is real in the line segment. Okay. So, you try to work out this, this version of Schwarz reflection theorem. Okay. Thank you.